Next up, Wall Street Journal piece getting lots of buzz. Talking about the bad habits so many of us have, sneaking a peek at your phone while you're at the dinner table, not at the God table. Um, and the author Jason Gay has some sensible rules, though. He says, parents with young kids can keep the phone handy in case the babysitter calls. But sneaking a peek under the table is a no-no. He has lots of fun with it, too. Here's a couple of his other rules. Um, <laughs> He says, you're not permitted to Instagram your food. What is this, 2012? <laughs> you're allowed to check your smartphone during lunch. It's lunch. Who cares? <laughs> I like, too, that he says, if you do, if the babysitter calls, that's an obvious. You yeah, get that's to do right. it. And then everybody else at the table gets a free hall pass for three minutes. Three minutes only. Everybody can check their phone. And then it's back to the rule. And I do yeah, think fair. this is yeah, important fair. to talk about. There is nothing worse than being at a dinner, Ooh. sharing time with friends. And, and then, like, yeah. And we're all guilty of it. Yeah, I know. But even that crutch of, okay, somebody has a question and so we don't know the answer, so we go check Google for yeah. that as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, there's always these little caveats. You're right about that. Up next on the Heat Index, big news for any parent hoping to raise a next World Cup superstar. There's a new study published in the International Journal of Sports Medicine. It found that children born in the fall have an edge when it comes to physical fitness. Like the month November, Robin? Yes, November 23rd <laughs> in particular. Researchers in the UK studied more than 8,000 children and found that those born in October and, yes, November, perform better in running, strength, and jumping tests than their peers born at other times of the year. And the study, it, they believe that this is because their moms were pregnant during the summer months and the extra exposure to vitamin D could account for some of that athletic ability. You know, I'm often Incredible. talking uh, to Jen's daughter, Jen Ashton's daughter, Chloe. Heck of a hockey player, born in November. Born in November. There so that's that's all the proof we need. That's, 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 conclusive. Right. that's conclusive now. It's and but, it's weird. They also said anybody born in June is the worst athlete. <laughs> <laughs> but Jen actually concurred with what the study was saying about really? vitamin D. Yeah. This, she, wow. Yeah, who knew? Okay. What were you? Right. Yeah. I, no, I'm just <laughs> just the messenger. Just saying, right? just saying, <laughs> no, no, I do think there's something to it. There, you know, think of how strong and powerful you feel in the sun. Yeah. You know, and when you don't get sun, how down you feel. So you know, let's okay. go with that. I mean, coincidence? We'll uh, I think not. <laughs> All right, and uh, by the way, do you all do you all Google your uh, your dates? Well, I guess it's been a long time since a lot of people <laughs> yeah. on dates. Uh, yeah, honey, I Google uh, all my dates. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, a writer at the New York Magazine making the case for not Googling the person you're dating before you get to know them. It's a striking accord with both men and women. People say that they just become too overwhelmed with information. I'm just going to admit, I Googled Andrew before I dated him. It's true. Okay. Sorry. A but a lot of people right are doing there. it.